Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. Whoa, now I'm echoing again. What the heck? What'd you do? You pressed something. You did. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. I changed nothing. I literally you did. closed out the volume thing. You're lying. Anyways. No. Okay, I don't hear an echo right now. That's weird. Anyways. Hi, welcome to Crypto Mondays. Um, I'm John. That's Blaine. Why are we doing this directly inside of Zoom instead of streaming live on Facebook this week? Uh, something's up with Facebook Live. It's not letting Zoom connect. I've tried for the past 10 minutes. It wasn't working. I even tried to go direct from Facebook Live without even going through Zoom. Didn't work. So something's up with Facebook Live. So we'll be doing it through Zoom uh, right now. But it's pretty busy week. Yeah, you're muting. You're, you're muting. You're, you're echoing still, dude. That's so weird, man. Like he's just he's a tech genius, man. This is why he needs to get he needs to get a Mac computer and there wouldn't be any problems. And he's gone, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Jen. Welcome. <laughs> oh, dude, I got my other I got my other mic over here, right? So if you need me to if you need me to send you another one, I you know, I got I got two, man. That's how professional I am. Like no? Okay. Anyways. Um so there's a lot going on. Um, I did not want to miss this because there's, there's a ton of information that we wanted to go over. Uh, I actually have two things of notes to go over. So uh, apologies for the technical uh, problems. That's, uh, we'll blame Facebook. I, I'm not going to say it's Zoom because I tried Zoom and then I tried direct to Facebook. It didn't work. So I think Facebook Live is having some issues. Anywho, uh, the big thing from us is obviously you guys are aware of the, the outages and the downtime that CTP is having. That is actually planned. Um, uh, the <laughs> Blaine is uh, redoing things on the back end, and uh, this was this was downtime that was expected. Um, a lot of people, I, I guess, I didn't. I'm not going to blame Blaine. I'm going to definitely say this is my fault for not letting people know uh, that there would be downtime. We did mention it last week, and I did tweet about it, but um, yeah, so. It's everything is working. It's just, it's just, you know, some people's DNS might need to get flushed and there's just a few issues, but it's uh, not going to last more than a day or two uh, with the outages. The outages are scheduled for midnight to 4 a.m. Um, Eastern time, the lowest for non peak hours. Didn't really work that way. Uh, there's been, there's been downtime and outages throughout. So apologies for that, but uh, rest assured, funds are snafu. That's a, that's a little crypto joke. Big shout out to CZ. Um, yeah, IPN coming soon. Um, <laughs> see Blaine's reaction to that. Um, uh, yeah, we, we saw Zoltan. I saw your post today and I saw the, the quote losing patience. I know, I know, but it's coming, man. Um, it, it's, it's, uh, the, the partners uh, have been notified and, uh, we're working on integration for that. Um, but, uh, it's there, it's like 99% done. It was, it's just, we got to get people up to speed with it. So obviously this took priority with the, uh, the, the outages. So we got to do that. And then we're, uh, we're working on that. Um, so yeah, the, the downtime and stuff is, um, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Got to be objective. Um, the downtime was expected, but, uh, that being said, it's, you know, a day or two at the most of these little outages. Uh, apparently everybody can see CTP and it's fine now. Few people are still having issues, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll get through it, and it's actually done for future growth and stuff. So we had to do take care of it now. Um, <clears throat> another news gossip scandal. Uh, I am going to be working on um, some crypto modules for CTP. Now, if you guys know the history, uh, a lot of you guys do know the history of Bitcoin Bully, Steam Savvy, and into Click Track Profit and CTP tokens. So. The whole idea of Bitcoin Bully and Steam Savvy was to introduce new people to cryptocurrency uh, and, and introduce them a newbie friendly way of doing it. And what I was thinking over the past weekend um, was that instead of redoing Bitcoin Bully completely and reworking Steam Savvy, I thought it would be best to redo a bunch of those lesson, lessons uh, and create a brand new module inside of CTP. So it's going to have crypto training. Um, I have my outline of how I was going to, I'll give you guys uh, a little tidbit of what, what's included. 
Uh, it'll be an intro, a mindset intro. You know, don't think you're getting rich with this stuff because you're not. You'll probably lose a lot of money, ask me. Um, I'm going to talk about use case, why that's really important with cryptocurrency actually using this stuff. Um, uh, sending, receiving, basic stuff like that, basic wallet management and Coinbase and coin payments. Um, introducing people to the, the utility tokens and the use case tokens that I actually um, like. So it's like Steam and CTP token, uh, BAT, BTC, LTC. Um, so Jen, you said, will you merge those videos onto CTP or will you begin new videos from scratch? It's going to be brand new videos. It's going to be completely new videos for CTP. So it's going to be introduction to crypto, uh, use case for crypto, all the different uh, utility tokens that I enjoy personally in crypto. Blaine, there's no echo now. Magical. See, he fixed it. I, li I just, I. New, new mic or just. No, same mic. You just took it Put off. On the stupid stand. stand. Now it's working. It's magical. It's magical, man. <laughs> now I can't hear him. Should we tell him that he's muted and I can't hear him now? Can you hear me now? Now I can hear you. Yeah. I just. <laughs> Oh, love it, man. Oh, now I'm echoing. Oh, wait. Dude, it's so weird. It's like sometimes there's no echo, and then there's an echo, and then it's... That's weird, dude. I don't know. You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. No, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Unmute it until I'm ready to speak again. <laughs> we are professionals. Trust us with everything professionals um yeah so jen it's it's all brand new lessons uh complete brand new lessons uh so there'll be an intro a mindset um use case why it's important to actually use cryptocurrency then i'll go through different to uh, tokens and blockchains like steam and ctp token bat ltc btc uh, a little bit of bnb too maybe uh, maybe I haven't decided yet. I know a lot of the freebie seekers will love it, but maybe an introduction to faucets. It will be very basic. It'll basically be like free Bitcoin and that's it. I don't care about everything that people want to throw links at and say, oh, this is a great faucet. I want faucets that are stupid, simple, and don't have a million and one banners on them. So, uh, and then obviously introduction to Brave Browser that'll coincide with BAT. So it's going to be a complete, it's going to be basically like merging Bitcoin Bully um steam savvy and then putting it into ctp so obviously there's going to be a lot of the stuff that's um that's familiar to people if they've gone through the steam savvy training and the bitcoin bully training but it's going to be all new so that's my project over the next week before the badge hunt begins uh to get this stuff rocking uh and um so that's really exciting i, I love these kind of projects uh you have a computer i have computer i have com computer i'm glad I'm glad you have Computa. I do too. <laughs> I'm good. I'm glad there's Computa. <laughs> oh, faucet. Uh, oh, yeah. The faucet again. The faucet training will be extremely basic. I'm not going crazy. I'm not going into all the different ones that CoinPot will tell you to get into. It's going to be stupid simple. Just an introduction. I do believe that faucet training is good to get people maybe even into the, the 274 a day mentality, but there's no end game with faucets other than just click and get your, get your little bit of uh, crypto. I prefer in content creation. I think that's a much better game plan. Um, I think that, um, I think that content creation on CTP talk as well as steam, it's pretty obvious. This is where you want to be. I took a picture yesterday of my trip to the hockey game with my wife and her cousin. And with that one picture, actually, I combined it. So it was two pictures. I made $27 in Epix tokens, and I made almost 10 bucks in Steam tokens. That's in one picture. To make that in a faucet would take you probably five years. So the, the use of time and the use of your effort into content creation on these blockchains is a lot better time management, let's say, than clicking on faucets. Um, but I still believe in things like free Bitcoin. I think it's very powerful. It's, it's, it's trustworthy and it's been around forever. So it's good to introduce people, but I still think people should. Yeah, exactly. The faucets are better. Exactly. Exactly. The whole thing. 
Um, so that's my game plan is to introduce people to the, perp the, the, the point of con um, content creation, but also introduce them to different faucets. Not a ton of, not a ton of information into faucets because again, I want to limit it. I don't want to, I don't want to create too much um, attention to them, but I think it's good to touch on it. But so that's the game plan. Um, that will take me probably about a week. Um, once I get going on creating content for, for lessons, I'm, I'm pretty quick with it. I can get through it pretty quick. So within a week or so, you can expect a, a brand new module for, um, for crypto training uh, on, on Steam, on Steam, sorry, on in CTP about crypto. Um, so that brings us to some uh, news gossip scandal. Blaine, are you ready for this, buddy? Can you hear me? I can hear you. And it's not echoing? No, sir. Because I've unmuted it for like the last three minutes. It's good, man. No. How are you doing? You okay? You look, you look perturbed. The, so I've got the, um, I've got the Yeti uh, blue app and it's got a thing to adjust the gain manually in the thing. And I turn it all the way down to zero and it automatically raises it up. Now you're down. That's so weird. Your volume was fine and then it started going all the way down. Yeah, what about now? Now it's super low. Can't even hear you. That is so weird. What about now? It's same. Super low. What about now? Same. You know what you should do? See what happens if you just take off the take take that out and use your computer mic. <laughs> just I'm gonna be so mad. I don't want to do it. Do it, do it. Come on, it'll be great. This is great. People will watch this replay, they'll watch you like. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so I have to enable. I just so I disabled all the other things, right? Right. So manage sound devices. Uh, enable. We'll start with the we'll try the webcam first. Okay. All right. So now we're using webcam volume. Well, it's fine. It's it's echoey, but it's it's a lot I can hear I you. I can't hear you at all. So that's great. Well, damn, dude. You can't hear me? Should I dance? Hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. My name is John. I like long walks on the beach. Yeah, Yanni CDs. It's very exciting to come to our shows where you can see technical expertise at its finest. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, sir. Yes, sir. Is it better? It's it sounds like you're using a webcam mic, but at least we can hear you. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? I mean, hold on. We'll try the option number three. Integrated microphone in that's, bad. that's horrible. That sounds that's, 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 that's the worst so far. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. How's Yeti doing? Yeti sounds great right now. <laughs> oh Blaine, this is great entertainment, man. And you're you're he's the tech guy, folks. Remember that. What? He put together a desk this weekend. Remember that? <laughs> exactly. We're having fun. So it, it didn't just come with putting together a desk, right? So I needed to upgrade my computer. My old computer was over 10 years old. Right. Right. So I can't, I couldn't physically upgrade the internal hardware for it anymore. It had exceeded lifespan. Everything to upgrade it, they no longer sell. Right. You had to get brand so, new. Yeah, so I bought a laptop, and I was like, I'm going to get a laptop. It's going to save space on the desktop. It's going to be awesome. Well, the laptop, to get the video out uh, to four monitors like I have set up, it needs a digital signal, HDMI right. cable. Right. So my old monitors are 12, 15 years old. They don't have digital capability. So I had to buy all new monitors, a new laptop, and then I was like, I might as well just get the desk um that does the automatic up and down while i'm at it there you go it's it's it, Jen, let's just we'll forget about it let's just keep going let's just keep going don't even don't is, is there it. still an echo no it's really weird dude it sounds like you're talking and then it goes a little slow and then it speeds up again it's like it's, it's your i don't know everything is fine exactly like zoltan said everything is just fine let's leave it it's fine 
<sighs> it's exciting. <laughs> Move along, nothing to see. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen. You guys are here for the news gossip scandal, and well, why not? Let's uh, let's push the, uh, the the FUD machine or the FOMO machine further even more. There was a blog post today. I'm sure you guys are fully aware of it by now. If you've been in the Discord room at all, we've been talking about it over the past couple of hours. Uh, rumors are circulating. Get ready. This is a doozy. That Mr. Justin's son is in the negotiations to purchase Steemit Inc. Who cares, John? What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, let's do a little backstory. Justin Sun is the creator, president, CEO, whole shebang of Tron. Tron is a top 10 cryptocurrency. Tron is a suspect top 10 cr cryptocurrency because, well, they got a whole lot of activity that people are saying are bots. They're notorious for having gambling apps on it, uh, exit scams when it comes to the gam gambling app. But at the end of the day, Tron is a massive, massive blockchain, top 10 billions in trading volume daily, or at least hundreds of millions in trading volume daily. Uh, huge, huge, huge presence on Twitter. Uh, the guy gets marketing. He understands it. A huge, and I mean massive, Asian influence, a lot of Chinese customers, South Korean customers, uh, you name it. Uh, it is a big deal. Tron is a big deal. Now, this is just rumors because remember, there's a difference between Steam and Steemit Inc. Steemit Inc. is just a company, just like ClickTrack Profit, that uses Steam. The difference between ClickTrack Profit and Steemit Inc. is Steemit Inc. is the biggest holder of Steam power on the planet. They have like one third or a quarter of all Steam, liquid Steam. They have it. They are the creators of the Steam blockchain. Um, but they're notorious for horrible marketing, uh, really bad community management, um, notorious for selling steam, uh, over when, when there was the bear markets, just, they finally kind of, I guess, got their, their head out of their posterior over the past year. They, uh, named, um, Eli Powell, Elizabeth Powell as the CEO, managing director of Steemit. They've made a lot of headways, but this is big news because Steam lacks what Tron has and Tron has what Steam lacks. To me, it's a really good marriage. Now, that does not mean that Tron is buying the Steam blockchain. It doesn't work like that. They would be purchasing a company that is a big holder and the number one DAP decentralized application on the Steam blockchain. That's really, wow, look at that. <laughs> Please play with the camera. That was a really close up from playing. Uh, so um, this is again, really exciting news if you're a Steam power holder. Uh, Steam has pumped, I think it was, it was up to like 10 or 11% in the past hour. Just a huge pump uh, because of this news, uh, which is hilarious to me because for the past year and a half, there's been amazing, amazing development on Steam, amazing communities built on Steam. Uh, Steam engine tokens are just huge, epics tokens, you name it. Amazing, amazing stuff, Steam tanks. One little bit of Tron news, phew, Steam takes off. Thus is the crypto markets. There's no rhyme or reason in it, but it's exciting. It's exciting because Steam needs marketing. Steam at Inc. specifically needs marketing and Tron needs actual use case, not bots and gambling apps. They need a social media thing. The other bit of news that I read, which makes a lot of sense too, here we go. Here it is. This is, this is news goss, gossip and scandal time here on, on, on Crypto Mondays. Hope you guys are excited for this because I'm pumped up about this type of news, um, but it is rumors. This is the other reason why this probably might happen. There is a company that is releasing its app on February 14th, 2020. It is called Voice. What is Voice? Voice was rumored to be the Steemit killer, and it is on the EOS blockchain. Why do we care? EOS was created by a guy named Dan Larimer. Dan Larimer is the creator of Steam. Him and this guy named Ned 
created Steam together. They had a little falling out about two and a half years ago. Ned stayed on with Steam It, and you saw what happened to Steam It. Dan went on to create EOS, which is a top five blockchain on the internet. Dan is releasing this Steam It Killer voice February. That makes total sense on a business side because now basically Justin could plug himself in and have this massively active social media network, Steam It, right now and could compete with voice with the marketing savvy of Justin Sun combined with all that money that Tron has. Exactly, Jen, it would be very interesting. So again, it's all rumors. We don't know. It's literally from two blog posts this afternoon, but you look at the price of Steam. Um, I'll, I'll check it right now. Uh, it was up, yeah, it's up 9.86% uh, over the past like hour or something. This is the link here if you want to check it out. It's on CoinMarketCap. It is literally pumped. Like if you, if you click on the one day, uh, it just went boom. It, it's, it, it's just moonshot. So fascinating. Fascinating to, to think about, to talk about. And I personally, as a guy who holds a bunch of steam, I'm for it. Not because of Tron and its amazing technology. I'm for it for the marketing side of it. And I'm for it because it's a, it's a fit that kind of makes sense. Like there's, it makes sense on a few levels. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. And if you follow Justin on Twitter, you know that he gets marketing and communication better than anybody in the crypto space. I mean, other than like CZ from Binance, he's probably the most active guy who's the head of a cryptocurrency. That's like on Twitter and in front of people every single day. So it makes sense. I'm excited for it. What are your guys' thoughts? Let's see if Blaine can say something without echo. I won't talk. I'll just let Blaine talk. I'm just, just going to sit back. I'm not even, I don't know why I'm trying. Should we tell him that we didn't hear a word he just said? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Great. Dude, be awesome. is this on your new computer? Is this why? Yes. So that's the problem. It's the new, it's not a Mac. That's the, probably the first problem. But I can't use a Mac. <laughs> well, you have like 20 monitors. Why can't you get a Mac? For your audiovisual stuff. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. We hear you fine. It's just sometimes it goes in and out. It's, you know. I'm going to fix all this. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyways. That's the exciting news here from uh, Crypto Mondays. So what do you guys think? What do you guys, and there's no delay now, so you can actually hear me right away. So you can't hide behind the delay and not engage with me. So Jen likes it, good. Yes, Jen, it's, it's very exciting. If it's true, of course it could all be bull. And in that case, it is what it is. We can hide behind the echo. Yes, you can. There is an echo again. Oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Jen says throw the whole damn thing out the window. Blake, I don't think he can flip that desk. That thing looked pretty heavy. I don't know if you guys saw the pictures of his his desk. That, that wood looked like about that thick, man. It looked like a freaking log on top of some legs. No? No? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's, it's, a, it's a lot better than my flimsy little lift-up desk that I got here. Um, but, yeah, that's that's pretty crazy to me, man. I mean, you just if you go and poke around Twitter and even on – even on Steam now, they're talking about it. Uh, no official word, obviously, from either Justin or Steam It Inc. And I doubt there would be until everything is signed, sealed, delivered. But Steam It Inc. can do whatever they want, right? It's different. It's not a block. It's, it's a company. It's, it's a private company. It's not a blockchain. So they can do whatever they want. They can sell to whoever they want. So it's interesting. To me, it's, it's fascinating. Uh, and I think so too, Zoltan. That's, that's, that's basically it. Like, uh, if you guys follow What's Up on Steam, she's awesome. I highly recommend that you follow her. That was what she was saying. She's like, this is good. 
even if you guys hate Justin and you hate Tron and you think it's the worst project ever, the fact that that's even mentioned, it, it, it helps. The rumors helps. It helps people get talking. More people talk, they start poking around and see how awesome Steam is. Um, well, that... <clears throat> that's the thing. I, I, Steam and Inc. is over in over their heads when it comes to marketing. They, you know, I've, I've had discussions with the guys at Steam and Inc. and they do what they're really good at, right? Like they, they, they're really good at certain things and they're, they're good at it, but what they don't, which is really weird because it's a social media company and it's community based. What they don't do is they don't work with their community enough. They don't have that relationships with their community yeah there's there's people with a lot of steam power and buddy buddies that are all friendly and in their little private groups and stuff but generally as a whole steam and ink doesn't really do the community thing very well they don't do the communication stuff very well uh they don't do the engagement stuff very well and that's exactly it um uh justin does do that jen that's brilliant that you said that because he does do that you go to twitter he replies to people He's engaging on Twitter all the time with people. That's what you need. If you're going to call yourself a social media blockchain, you kind of need to be social. I'm not the smartest guy on the planet, but I see that with a lot of people, right? Even Epics. Epics, I think, is a brilliant project, but they do a lot more selfies than they do community engagement. They're, <laughs> they're doing a lot of selfie stuff, not so much community, but that stuff can be taught, you know, it can be learned, it can be grown upon. That's why I think this Tron rumor is, is fascinating because Justin gets it when it comes to communication and engagement, he gets it. Um, so yeah, there's nothing wrong with selfies. Absolutely nothing wrong with selfies. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with selfies. What I'm saying is, is that it can't just be selfies, right? Like, I, I get it. I, you know, I, I get why there's a lot of, you know, millennials into Instagram and, you know, epics and Snapchat and TikTok and all that stuff. It's eye candy, right? It's, it's, it's meant to attract you to keep scrolling. That's the whole point of it. That's what it does. But if you put a picture up, and you don't reply to anybody. Oh, there goes Blaine. Blaine rage quit. <laughs> so um, he said he's got to restart. Um, if, if, if you don't do the engagement, that's a problem. To me, that's a major, major, major problem. You, you have to engage with your community. It's like, it's like if, I, if I did a post on CTP Talk, which I did today, and there was probably, I think there was about five or six people that responded to me. If I don't respond to you, that's not community. Community is a two-way two -way thing. Like it's a two-way street. You know, content put out there, engage with content, reply to people that engage with you. It's, it's, it's got to be mutual. And if you're not doing that, there's no community. So it, exactly, it makes the community feel valued. And this is, this is why, like, I've, I've, I'm not, listen, I'm definitely not the, <laughs> not the, picture of 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 community here at all there's a lot of things that i would do differently but this is why when people um they'll send me a note and they'll be like dude you sent me a postcard or you sent me a mug and you you, you sent me a thank you note or that's awesome to me i do that and i think that's the least i could do you know oh you replied to me on steam it's the least i could do you gave me an sbi token it's the least i could do i mean literally it's you take your time out because i understand how much craziness is going on to pull your attention. The fact that you have chosen to spend a minute engaging with my content, the least I can do is say thank you, right? The least I can do is that. Let's see. Let's see if, uh, see if Blaine can uh, rock out. Let's see how he does today. Yeah. Well, absolutely, Jen. How's it going, man? How you feeling? Absolute junk. <laughs> Sounds okay so far. Well, that's good. I'm excited for that. Why? What happened? What'd you do? I don't know. I don't know what I did. But it's working fine now, though. It's working fine? Sounds good. No issues. No issues. 
Sounds like normal. Sounds like last week on Thursday. Good. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Oh, okay. I changed my thing to optimize for best performance, except all the text and everything looks like crap now, so I got to fix that. You sound good, though. Sounds good. Good. I'm Perfect. glad. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, so... Yeah, absolutely, Jen. Um, it, it's it's the least you could do is just and just give a little bit of feedback, right? It's like it's like what like when Blaine and me do like you know the gauntlet games. You know, it's not like it's not like we're just going, oh, you, oh, it's crap. Give up. You should go flip burgers. Like we're not saying that. We're saying no. This might suck, but this is what you can do to improve it, right? It's it's the content, the engagement, the feedback, all that's to build community. It's got to be there. Like sitting on the sidelines is not an option in 2019 going on 2020 folks, 20, the last month of the decade, not the last month of the year, the last month of the decade. And if you're sitting on the sidelines, not being active, not being in front of people, you become obsolete. I got to sneeze. So, Excuse me. I'm not trying to hurt people's feelings. <laughs> I'm, I'm, thank you. I'm not trying to hurt people's feelings. I'm trying to be truthful. And if you are on the sidelines, not engaging with people, not creating content, not putting yourself out there in social media, you become obsolete. That does not mean you got to go and be Gary Vaynerchuk. Okay. There's one Gary V. You're not going to be Gary V. You're not going to be John. You're not going to be Jen. You're not going to be Zoltan. You're not going to be Rob. Thank God. We only need one Rob in the world. Just joking, Rob. Love you. Um, but the point being is that you have, to, you have to be vocal. You have to be visual. You have to talk to people and engage with people. And that's why I'm doing this entire thing on crypto. But the big focus is going to be on the use case stuff, the social media apps, because that's like, go, anybody know who Joel Com is? Hopefully you guys know who Joel Com is. Joel Com, the guy who co-produces um, Bad Crypto Podcast, he has been around forever in internet marketing circles. Uh, the dude's just a legend when it comes to social media. The, he's, first of all, he's big on Epics. He's posted on Epics all the time. Minor Profit is his username on Epics. Um, but read his articles over the past couple of months, he's all saying Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all this stuff is great, <clears throat> but it's, 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 it's a horse that's going to die. And the, the ones that's going to be the future is these cryptocurrency based, privacy based blockchains. Everything is going to be, it's, it's going blockchain folks, it, whether we want to believe in crypto or not, whatever blockchain tech is there. So this is why I'm really bullish and really trying to get you guys to be active in CTP talk, get out there, communicate. First of all, I don't think people understand that me and Blaine and Jen and a few people here, we're actively looking for people to upvote, like actively looking to give you free money. Actively. This isn't like, Oh, just if I see you, it's, Create on CTP Talk, we will upvote your content. Like with, you don't have to ask. <laughs> I, will upvote, I will upvote you with the CTP account. Blaine will upvote you with his account. Jen will upvote you with your account, her account. I've also got the John G. Olson account that's got a whole bunch of CTP power. Create there. Because this is where your content is going. It might not be on CTP Talk in 10 years from now, but it will be on the blockchain. Start building it now. Now is the time. And that's my speech. Thanks for listening. Anything else? Boom. Is that, is that, is that a mic drop? Better not drop the mic because it might screw up the sound again. Not a mic drop. Um, but yeah, definitely um, use everything to your advantage. There's so many tools and so many capabilities uh, that not alone, not only us at CTP are using, uh, but or that are providing, but there are many other tools out there 
to that you can use and use everything to your advantage. Is my uh, audio still messed up? Yeah, you sound 80 years old again. It's okay though. It was fine. It's fine. Just keep going. Whatever you see, you were messing with stuff. I know you were messing with stuff when we said it was fine. Right? Weren't you? I wasn't messing with stuff. Yeah, you were. Yeah, we can hear you, man. You're fine. You're fine. All right. So anyway, I want to talk about something that happened uh, in the nice. last couple of days uh, that's not really relevant uh, to what we were just talking about. That's okay. Um, but I want to say that basically ignorance is not an excuse to go on a manhunt. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> so a couple days ago, and I'm not going to name any names, and if you paid any attention whatsoever, you, you, I'm sure you could figure this out. Um, we had somebody submit a support ticket because what they were trying to do was not working. And then they submitted another support ticket uh, because they tried to do something else and it was wrong. Um, more specifically, somebody got a Black Friday deal. Great, perfect, awesome. Uh, and then they went and purchased something else that's a different price than the Black Friday deal. So in CTP, when you go and purchase things, it tells you what you're purchasing at the top. Like it gives the name of the product and then the price. Um, and this person did not look uh, at this at all. They just paid. Uh, the first one, they didn't pay enough because they were buying their own product. And the second one, they paid too much uh, because they don't look at the price. So, like, we're here to help, and, and we're more than happy to help people, um, but to try and blast us for, for no reason other than your own ignorance, mm, it's kind of rough. Yeah, um, we're not, like, a couple of guys that hide. I don't know if anybody's noticed that, but we're kind of pretty much everywhere. Um, so, if you don't get a response to a ticket, even though the ticket was responded to multiple times, mind you, if you don't respond to us, all you got to do is come to discord or telegram or find us on social media or find us on our blogs or even, you know, good old fashioned email. Yeah. We're, we're pretty easy to find. So the issue is I don't have, if, if there's a problem with our services, and, and you got overbilled or something, I have no problem refunding you at all. Trust me. It's a lot cheaper for us to refund you than you start going and filing disputes. Okay, so we will refund. There's no, and that's just the right thing to do. If you, there's your money. It's your money. You, you didn't get what you thought you were going to get, no problem. But to go on these hunts, like, like I've, we've, we've done you wrong or something. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> we were not like i don't know thank you jen i appreciate that yeah i, tr I tried but <clears throat> like i get the frustration but it's just like you got to know your you got to know who you're dealing with right like me and blaine are not hidden people we're not you know like i put pictures of my kids up on social media for god's sakes i mean if i was trying to take five bucks from you i probably wouldn't put pictures of my kids up on the internet just saying so anywho but yeah, like ignorance should not be an excuse. And, and it's just, if you need something, we're here to help. Totally here to help. Ta-da. Anyways, that's the first little bit of drama. Well, we've had a couple bits of drama since CTP relaunched. I had someone send me a note. Um, someone sent me a private message. <laughs> they said, dude, look what this person is talking about. They're talking bad about CTP. And I checked the date and it was like three years ago. I was like, yeah, it was probably deserved. <laughs> like, I mean, this is a brand new company, uh, brand new ownership, you know. Hey, but this being said, the fact that people are talking about you is a good thing. It's, it's this whole steam, steam and Tron rumors, right? Rumors are rumors, whatever, but it's still pumping the price of steam because people are excited. Um, so the fact that people are talking about you is a good thing. Um, but exactly, and, and I'd like to think so too, Jen. I think the, the culture at CTP is really different. Uh, the egos are dead. The pride is dead. The, you know, we're, we're here to really build something unique with a community and, and awesome people. And this, this crypto stuff is just, you know, the tip of the iceberg and the affiliate marketing training and the, the building of lists. That's been, that's, I'll, I'll be honest with you. That's been, I think the toughest sell, the crypto stuff has really been adopted like not mass adopted to the point where it's good but 
I would say that list building is still, even though it's the, the focus of CTP, that's the harder sell. The harder sell is to tell people, hey, you got to start building your list now. Like, don't wait. Like, that's a tough sell. And it's just, it's because of the history of CTP and a whole bunch of the CTP community that came from the old one to the new one that's new training to people. They've heard it. They've heard, yeah, you need to build your list. Everybody's heard that, but the focus and, and not, you know, sitting around clicking it's, it's now let's build. Don't click build, stop clicking, build, 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 build. So it's, that's been the, the, the tougher challenge, which is interesting because you think the crypto adoption would be harder, but people generally understand it, right? I mean, once you, once you poke around with crypto, you start messing with it and playing with it it's you get it you get it especially in a steam environment or ctp talk where you're getting it for being active um well i appreciate that and then again that's that's the, the focus and why i think that steam savvy was a great project bitcoin bully was a great project but ctp just makes sense to put it all together and really build it as the the community where people can learn about not only list building, not only personal branding, not only content creation, but cryptocurrency and how you can mix them all and put it into one big, beautiful box and put a ribbon on it. And... Ta -da. How's my volume now? It sounds great, man. Better? Sounds fantastic. What if I just keep talking? Does, uh, do I fade like I was before? Yes, sir. It just did. Mm. It sounded really weird, and then he was found. Oh, it sounded weird. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know. What if I use the other microphone? What other microphone? Oh, I have another microphone. Non non Yeti. Non Yeti. It's weird how this one does. It sounds fine for me, right? Like. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> weird like i changed it i set it up properly i did all the things what if i change it's technology change. bro no idea any better no idea better now it sounds louder. louder 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 good louder bad you sound you, it sounds like delayed like it's loud and so, not slower it's like this you're not you know dj screw if anybody gets that reference rest in peace um oh my now there's echo. echo. Now there's echo. Let me put this back. So there shouldn't be echo now. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Yes, there is. Still? Yes, sir. All right. What about now? Hello, hello. It's good. It's big. I guess I'll be working on this for a while. <laughs> more stuff for so blaine's got to do server stuff he's got to do ipn stuff and now he's got microphone stuff it's never a dull moment for blaine jones ladies and gentlemen so there you go how's that for an exciting start to the work week huh like tons of crazy stuff man um What's what update on, on the downtime and outages and stuff? You good? Everything good? Or do you got anything you want to add? Uh, everything's good right now. So the most of it's just been doing backups of everything. The problem is uh, when trying to do backups uh, with everybody using the server, it's freezing uh, the services on the server. Um, so I scheduled them for between midnight and 4 a.m. So um, if it does go down, it's only because we have to shut it down to do chunks of backups. Mm -hmm. Uh, before starting it back up. So it should be very intermittent uh, now. Um, once I get all of the, cause so we basically started up a new server, moved everything over to that new server. Uh, once everything's over, I have to test everything, get it all set up. Uh, and then the entire site will shut down uh, and I'll do one last data push, all the database information, and then turn on the new server. So hopefully in two or three days, that should happen. And it should be good and done. That's why he gets paid for Should be good to go. There you go. So, so just so you guys know. So if there's downtime or there's outages, that's why. 
Um, but uh, generally, majority of the people seem to be getting CTV back now. So I, I told Blaine that. I said, dude, I don't give a crap if I get it back as long as everybody else does and you can get it. It's fine. You know, I can, I've got enough. I've got enough on my plate with all these lessons I'm going to be working on um, over the next couple of days to that's going to take the majority of my time. So if anything, if you guys need anything, drop us a line support or drop us a line um, through, you know, tickets or telegram or whatnot. Um, so yeah. So yeah, it'll, 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 it'll pop back. So it'll, uh, CTP talk is working though. That's good. CTP talk is flawless, but it'll, it'll pop back. I mean, people, people didn't have it today. And then a bunch of people said that they, they refreshed and they got it back. Um, so I, I anticipate for you and I, for example, like it, CTP doesn't work for me right now, but, um, you and I, it'll be, it'll be up tomorrow. I'm sure it's just, poop happens and it's i didn't do a good enough job of um letting you guys know um i just you know i let blaine kind of mention it last week and then i put a tweet out i gotta remember as as much as much time as like i spend on social media i do need to remember that a whole chunk of people are still on skype and refuse to use telegram or discord or even read emails like it's it blows my mind um <laughs> it's just the email marketing thing trying to pitch people email marketing and it's like i don't even read my emails why would anybody else read emails it's like well everybody reads emails lots of people do i got a whole bunch of black friday deals for christmas because i read emails i love emails i haven't turned on skype jen in like a year i just I've, i can't stand it so but yeah, that's it. I mean, just, you know, and we'll, we'll be here. We'll be here on Wednesday. We'll be here on Thursday. So, um, you know, don't worry. This isn't an exit scam. We're not running away with everybody's CDP tokens. <laughs> you just, you got to sometimes, it's, Jen, you really do have to mention that because in today's day and age, it's very rare to have people basically say they screwed up or, hey something's wrong or you know it, it's rare it's rare you know mostly it's like oh this isn't working let's just leave right like, especially in crypto worlds like in the crypto world it's notorious for that um but um yeah so Ta -da. um yeah transparent oh i believe in it i think i i believe in it completely jen i think um that's huge i think you know it, it gains more trust than you got to remember that people have choices, right? They can choose to use you. They can choose to not use your services. And when people don't use your services, what's crazy is that they usually don't tell you why. So you're kind, you could keep going. Like, this is why I, me and Blaine, I've talked to Blaine about this for a long time and kind of, um, I got one more thing I want to mention before we leave though, too, um, that, that it's really important to get feedback. And we do a lot of exit surveys. So if I see someone cancel, I send them a personal email. Um, you know, Hey, you cancel your subscription. Is there anything we could have done to improve? I've never got a reply back. And we've had a few cancellations, not tons, but there's no feedback. So what happens is people there, check this out. There was actually a lady, if you guys remember her, I'm not going to mention names, but she was really active coming to our webinars and stuff. All of a sudden I, she actually won a, a CTP shirt. I sent it to her. Um, I saw her one day, she canceled her subscription. So I sent her an email and no response from her. I sent her a note, um, on, on telegram, no response. I go to Facebook. She's actually unfriended me. And I think she even blocked me. She never told me why. <laughs> so I have no idea why this person basically was a raving fan of everything we're doing at CTP. And then all of a sudden she hated what we were doing. I think it was because she was friends and buddies with that person that me and Blaine bumped heads with on telegram, um, because we wouldn't support scams. <laughs> so I think that's it. That's the only other, that's the only thing I can think of, but, and this is the thing in, in 2019 going on 2020, getting feedback of how you screwed up or how you can improve is very rare. So that's why it's very valuable. If someone says, Hey, this is what I didn't like. This is what could be improved upon send it to you. Um, please do. Which brings me to this right here. I wanted to mention this. I had this idea, something is more social proof stuff. If you guys, this is Blaine doesn't know that we're going to do this yet. Actually, I think I mentioned it to him, but I, I, he's not going to like what I'm going to ask him. We'll, we'll worry about that. 
let's just worry about that. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. What does this say? Absolutely, Eric. Same with me, man. Um, video testimonials. So this is my thought. If you guys are interested or if you would like to, this is unsolicited. I'm not looking for you guys to say anything specific, but little 30 second clip of a testimonial for CTP, CTP talk, the community, whatever. Do it, do it with your phone, do it on your, your, your desktop, whatever. You do a little 30 second clip. My idea was to actually put video testimonials uh, on the sales page of CTP. They wouldn't autoplay or anything like that. It would just add some social proof and give you guys a little bit of branding exposure to help out. But mostly what we're looking for is your, your guys' feedback on what you like about CTP, the community, et cetera, et cetera, the training, um, the affiliate marketing training. So if, you, if you're interested in that, uh, I'd love to get some, like a little 30 second clip. You know, it doesn't have to be war and peace, just a simple, hey, John, Blaine, just wanted to shout you guys out. Uh, I've, I've, I'm loving CTP and the brand new changes and everything you guys are doing. And man, what a great community. I love being a part of this. Keep up the good work. Something as simple as that, send it to us. I'll upload it. Uh, I'll put links to your, um, to your whatever website you want or social media site you want. Uh, and your name would be up there too. And just little testimonials and we'll have little slides that'll go through them. Uh, if you're interested in it, this isn't, you know, this, I'm not, I'm not demanding it. I'm just asking you if you guys wanted to get out there and put a little video testimonial, a little headshot video testimonial. So this is me blinking my eyes going, please, please, please send video testimonials. Anyways, just an idea. So if you guys want to take some action, let me know. I'll put it up on CTP. I'm going to ask Blaine really nicely to put it up on CTP. Yeah, we can do that. That's easy enough. Yeah. I figured we could do it on the template, just kind of like the way it... Yeah. Anywho. Cool. Um, other than that, that's it. Crypto Mondays. Huge stuff. Huge stuff going on in Steam world. Uh, I hope you are excited, Jen, because it's, it's, if this, especially if this Tron stuff has got legs to it, man, people are going to be like, you bought Steam at 12 cents? What the hell? Holy moly. Yeah, that's what it'll be like 2020 if, if this Tron stuff has legs. So um, anyways, thank you guys for coming. Uh, appreciate you. If you need anything, let us know. Um, yeah. Toodles, may the force be with you and all that good stuff. Ta-ta. Ending meeting. <laughs>